and the vice president as a black woman, you supposed to be on the front line. You supposed to be you supposed to be on the front line to get that black woman out of jail. Alright guys, so once again, we gotta talk about Brittany Griner, as there's a whole lot of infighting going on in the hip-hop blogosphere over Brittany Griner being sentenced to nine plus years in Russian prison. Hard time, right? For allegedly, allegedly uh, bringing in illegal narcotics into the country and some people right like rapper Lil boozy is criticizing kamala harris right he's going off on kamala harris because he feels like she's not doing enough to get britney griner out of prison but before we get into that i just want to let you guys know if you like my channel you want to support my channel you can do so using the links in the description below you support the patreon you support the paypal you support the merch there are multiple ways to support the channel if you would like to do so and you can get a 20 percent off discount at the merch store using coupon code g and bcp do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you like my content and if you don't like my content <laughs> then you don't have to subscribe but make sure you're still subscribed if you like my content so without further ado let's go ahead and get into a little boozy snapping on vice president kamala harris take a look how the hell this girl get nine years for a weed pen? And the USA ain't doing nothing about it. You tell me that. If that was Taylor Swift, it'll be a peace treaty right now. It'll be a, a slight, we'll be, they'll be drafting to go to war. For a weed pen. Nine years. What that show for black women in the United States? And the vice president, as a black woman, you supposed to be on the front line. You supposed to be are you supposed to be on the front line to get that black woman out of jail. Nine damn years. Y'all fed up in this world. Now again, that is a little boozy. Basically criticizing Kamala Harris for not doing enough. To get Brittany Griner out of prison in Russia, even though the Biden administration offered over a Russian arms dealer who conspired to kill Americans in order to get Brittany Griner out, which I vehemently disagree with, okay? Um, because I don't think that Brittany Griner is worth a Russian's arms dealer, okay? She got herself in that situation, and it is what it is. We get her out when we get her out out okay so my criticism of the Biden administration is that i think they might be doing a little bit too much uh they didn't seem to care about the u.s marine or former marine paul willen who is also locked up in russian prison except he's actually wrongfully being detained right unlike the talking points they're using for Brittany griner now with that being said uh we have kamala stands who are upset at boozy for coming out here and criticizing their queen b right or queen k whatever you would call her but nonetheless kamala stands are pissed at little boozy for criticizing their queen b or queen k right whatever they want to call her because uh they don't believe that it's kamala's fault it's also not britney griner's fault because you can't criticize the black woman right black woman can't take any responsibility for her own actions it is the white man's putin's fault take a look little boozy i know you like to spell so let me spell some shit out for you p-u-t-i-n that's the mother president of Russia who's holding Brittany Griner political prisoner and as a wrongful detainee. Not VP OT US Vice President of the United States Kamala Harris. So I don't know how the f well, as f as the situation is a Brittany Griner. The person you decide to make the boogeyman is goddamn Kamala Harris, a black woman. Are you kidding me? I ain't even mother you say about Vladimir Putin. Do you know who the Vladimir Putin is? And where the f have you been because if you were paying attention to her case you would have known that president vice president kamala harris and president biden called up the griner family and assured them that they were doing everything they can to bring britain griner home where the f were you were just last week when the news leaked that the biden harris administration is trying to make her prison stop for britney griner and all the sudden in your comments right now gassing you up because you're being anti-kamala was just mother last week talking about she shouldn't have been over there with weed that's what she get you break the law in a foreign country that's what you get where the you at well donald trump was just talking about how her ass had to be in jail did you say shit about mother donald trump have you said shit about vladimir putin no but you choose to go after the black woman because you're ignorant 
Vice President Kamala Harris is not the problem in the situation. Putin is. And all the motherfuckers that sit up here and talk shit to Brittany Griner and want to see her behind bars. So if you want to be mother well, maybe you should learn about the case and actually bring some attention to it and what we actually need to be doing, which is going ahead with this motherfucking prison swap so we can bring Brittany Griner home. Yeah, so she seems nice, right? She seems nice. As she doesn't want to place any of the blame on Kamala, okay? Uh, she wants to place all the blame on Putin. And she feels like people like Lil Boozy who criticize Kamala actually should be criticizing Putin. And if not Putin, Trump, right? Uh, again, uh, you know, people like this feel like, you know, black women can't take any responsibility for their own actions. As I think the only person to blame is, is Brittany Griner because she got herself in this situation. But again, you can't take responsibility if you are a part of a certain group of people okay if you happen to sleep with people the same sex or you have a skin color that's not white you do not have to take responsibility for your actions it's never your fault right it's always the white man's fault so that being said Kamala Harris is getting criticized as she's getting labeled a hypocrite for condemning Brittany Griner's jail term Let, so let's read about this vice president kamala harris was accused of hypocrisy after she decried britney griner's conviction by russia on cannabis smuggling charges despite harris prosecuting thousands of similar marijuana possession cases in her earlier career as a prosecutor griner 31 was sentenced on thursday to nine years in prison after she admitted to bringing vape cartridges containing cannabis oil into the country the WNBA star said she had been prescribed the oil to help relieve pain related to her chronic injuries and had accidentally packed them in her luggage. I don't believe that whatsoever in regards to she accidentally packed it in her luggage. Guys, have you ever packed your luggage and accidentally put something in there? Because when you pack your luggage, especially when you try to go to a foreign country, you're going to be checking three times, four times, five times, make sure you have everything that you need and that you're not bringing anything that you don't need right she definitely knew it was in there and <laughs> one time i was out in the barbershop there was this woman that cuts hair uh who is similar to britney Griner in regards to what i believe <laughs> her sexuality is she was talking about how britney Griner shouldn't be locked up because she had a prescription <laughs> right and apparently a u.s a prescription from a u.s doctor is supposed to be honored everywhere in the world <laughs> One of the most ignorant things I've heard in my life. These Britney Griner stands, the people that are defending her, a lot of them are defending her with some really stupid reasoning, okay? I'm just being real. The verdict was met with universal condemnation from U.S. diplomats and government officials led by President Biden, who called the sentence unacceptable and demanded that Russia release both Griner and a second jailed American, Paul Whelan, immediately. Harris released a separate statement on Twitter condemning Griner's conviction. Quote, with today's sentence, Russia continues its wrongful detention of Brittany Griner. She should be released immediately, Harris wrote. Quote, POTUS and I and our entire administration are working every day to reunite Brittany as well as Paul Willen with loved ones who each miss them dearly. But Harris's many critics were quick to point out that while serving as both San Francisco's district attorney and California's attorney general, she oversaw thousands of marijuana-related prosecutions and was an outspoken critic of pot legalization as the Daily Mail first reported. Now, here's the thing. Uh, her prosecuting marijuana-related offenses, hey, it is what it is. I mean, she got to do her job as attorney general. She got to follow the law. However, her being a critic of marijuana being legalized that's a whole nother thing right that's what hypocrisy comes in because if you personally believe that it should be illegal and you work to keep it illegal in this country how in the world are you going to blame russia for enforcing their laws the same way that you enforce our laws over here in the united states against the same thing again <laughs> this is hypocritical how in the world can you judge russia for enforcing their laws when it comes to possession of illegal drugs right but over here in the united states um we're still locking people up for having illegal drugs for the exact same thing so are all the people over here wrongfully detained right are they wrongfully locked up because if they are as vice president of the united states <laughs> and president of the united states as well too with joe biden maybe you should i don't know work to get some of those people out of jail i mean i'm just saying that would only make it fair right that would only make you consistent but we know this administration is anything but consistent. Quote, 
Brittany Griner got nine years for drug possession in Russia, which sounds like most of the criminal sentences. Harris got people for the same thing when she was Attorney General of California, author Tim Young tweeted. Another commentator wrote, LMAO, you didn't lock up an ish load of people for weed? Then bragged about it and went on to say you smoked weed in college listening to Tupac and Snoop before they cut their first albums? <laughs> exactly. Pothead Kamala Harris, right? Pothead Kamala Harris criticizing Putin for enforcing laws. A third fume in the same vein. Quote, you locked up people for possession of marijuana and you're only condemning this because the U.S. cannot profit from her incarceration in Russia. Wow, these people are putting Kamala Harris on blast. On blast. The San Jose Mercury News reported in 2009 that during Harris's tenure as San Francisco's top prosecutor between 2004 and 2010, her office handled more than 1,900 marijuana convictions. Although it has been pointed out that most of those arrested for low-level possession were sparred prison time and only a few dozen were incarcerated. Harris was selected the Golden State's Attorney General in 2010 and had a further 1,970 people locked up for marijuana offenses on her watch, according to an investigation by the Washington Free Beacon, a conservative publication. Harris also vocally opposed California's marijuana legalization ballot initiative, which ultimately passed in 2016. Yeah, that is where the real hypocrisy comes in. Because I don't blame her for doing her job as a prosecutor. What I do blame her for is opposing legalization when it came time for the people to decide whether or not they wanted it to be legal. She only threw her support behind legalization around 2018, even endorsed a bill which would have removed cannabis from the Controlled Substances Act, reported Forbes. She also wrote a book in which she argued for the decriminalization of cannabis. By the time Harris radically changed her stance on marijuana, there was already talk of her running for president. Ding, 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 ding. Which is probably why she changed her stance. It's because she knew that, hey, I'm trying to run for president. Uh, Harris famously sparred with Hawaii Representative Tulsi Gabbard during a Democratic presidential debate in 2019 after Gabbard bought up her record of throwing people in prison for marijuana possession. Because this clip is so iconic, let's just go ahead and play it. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but... She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. So basically in that interview, uh, she admitted, right, with Charlemagne the God that she inhaled. She inhaled and she loved it, okay? She loved getting high. Listen to Tupac and Snoop Dogg. And then went on to make a career out of locking people up for doing the very same thing that she claimed that she did in college. Right now, she wants to criticize Putin for enforcing the same laws that she enforced in the United States. With that being said, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.